Hello everyone and welcome to Python programming practice. In this lesson we're going to be tackling leet code number 58, length of last word. This is classified as an easy problem so it shouldn't be too difficult to do. I'll start by reading the problem description here. Given a string s consists of some words separated by spaces, return the length of the last word in the string. If the last word does not exist, return zero. A word is a maximal substring consisting of non-space characters only. So it looks like the key thing here is to kind of separate the string based on spaces and then return whatever the last substring is that was delimited by spaces. So they have some examples here. If the input string s is hello world, the last word is world. The output is five. Oh, it looks like we must be returning the, okay, the length of the last word. And then the next example, we are past an empty string, or no, it, it's not an empty string, it's just a space. And the output is zero because a space is not a word, it's just a separator. So I guess that would strip away and would result in no word. So the length of the empty string is zero. And then we have some constraints here. The length of our string is going to be between one and 10 to the four. So we're not gonna get a string that's too huge and we're actually not going to be past an empty string it looks like because the length is going to be at least one and then the string is only going to consist of english letters and spaces so i guess we, that means we don't have to be concerned with how punctuation marks of various kinds might factor into the length so this seems like a relatively easy problem especially to do in python because we have various string functions we might be able to use. So let's pull over to the code editor. And we're actually going to try a couple different solutions to this. Um, the easiest way to do this would just be to use various built-in Python string manipulation functions to split the string and then just find the last word using that. So let's just start by doing that because that would be the easiest and quickest way to doing this. So let's say method one is going to be string split version. So basically all we need to do is split the input string s into its constituent words, then just check the length of the last one and return that length. So basically, first we need to check if um, if we're past something that splits into an empty list. So basically, if we're past a string that has no letters in it, if we try to split that, it doesn't split into any words. It'll just be an empty list. So we need to account for that. So if f s dot split. So basically, this is saying. If we split S and there's actually something there, then we're gonna do something. Otherwise, we don't wanna do anything. Or we'll just return zero. So if F S dot split, so if there's something to actually split and get a word, then we want to return the length, len, of the last thing. So the len of S dot split. So S dot split will return a list of the words in order. So we just want to return the length of the last thing. So the last thing in a list is at index minus one. So that should get us the length of the last thing. And then the only other thing we need to do is the case where s.split doesn't return true. So it's basically just uh, a single space or something. So if that's true, we just want to return zero because that means there's no word. and in the example, they said that's what we should do. So this should actually be a working solution to this problem. So let's go ahead and click submit on this one. And then I will pull over to the solution tab and see how it went. So we can see that that did pass. 
runtime of 52 milliseconds and faster than about half of Python 3 submissions. That's perhaps to be expected on this because I, I suspect most people that did this in Python 3 would just come up with a solution very similar to this. So they're probably all running in pretty similar amounts of time. Now, if we wanted to do this problem without using Python built-in splitting methods, we could do that, but we'd have to think a little bit harder if we wanted to code up something different. So method two, how could we go about doing this without using Python string methods? Well, basically we'd have to manually check the length of the last word by kind of looping through the string starting from the end and then finding where the last word is. And then once we go past the last word, we would return the result and we'd have to keep track of the length of that word as we're looping through it. So we'll call this manual string length count. And essentially what we're going to have to do is loop through the string in reverse order, then keep track of the first time we see something that isn't a space. That's when we're, our word is starting. And then we'll keep, keep going through the word as we see things that aren't spaces. We'll keep track of the length. And then as soon as we see something that is a space again, we know the word has ended and then we can return what that length is. So basically we wanna start by initializing a count for the length of our string. So our count We'll start at zero because we don't know how long it's going to be yet. It might be nothing if we're just past a space. Now we want to loop through the string in reverse order. So we'll just say for letter in our string, but we're going to reverse the string. So to do that, we can do colon colon minus one. That basically lets us loop through or reverse it um, and go through the letters in reverse order. So for letters in reverse order, now we want letters, we wanna skip over letters that are just empty spaces because that's not a word yet. So if the letter is just a space, we don't wanna do anything, except for the case where we're actually currently looking at a word and then we see a space. If that's the case, that means our word just ended and then we're done and we want to return the length. So if the letter is equal to a space, and then if our count, if count is greater than or equal to one, so that means we've actually seen something that's a letter already, we are going to just immediately return the count. Because that means we just saw a space after a word. That means that word is done and we want to return. And in the case that we are not seeing a space, that means we're seeing a normal letter. So else our count is going up by one because we are in a word. And now outside of our loop here, once this runs through, if we don't see any spaces, that means we actually got through the whole word or the whole string and there weren't any spaces after a word to break out of it. So that means we need to just return the count at the end because the return statement that we have inside the loop isn't ever going to be hit. So this is just basically we have a single word that's going for the whole string. So we need to return the length of what that would, word would be in that special case. So I'm going to go ahead and click submit on this one and it is running. Let's pull over and see what the result is. So this one ran in 28 milliseconds, faster than about 78% of other Python 3 submissions. So it worked reasonably well. And I hope this uh, gave you an idea of how you can approach a problem in a couple of different ways. And that sometimes if you bother to code up a solution to something like this using more basic constructs than Python built-in string manipulation functions in this case, you might actually find something that will be a little bit faster. So thanks for watching and keep coding.